Yo, what's good, my tadpoles, right? I'm gonna be answering the simple question today of if the new Cubecraft update is any good. What did they do? Oh, no. All right, uh, stay till the end to see my opinion. And uh, yes, for the record, my opinion is worth more than all of yours combined. So you should stay till the end, all right? All right. All right, before we start the video, I was very surprised to be awoken today by the Cubecraft Discord blowing up with messages of people just like talking and talking. And I realized what they were talking about. It was outrage about the new update. And for some reason, there are some people in the fellow community who seem to think the update. Oh, wait, wait, my bad. Beta is going to kill Cubecraft. All right. Now, I would go into detail into how no way in hell Cubecraft is going to die from a beta. But the people that are asking this are going to need someone else to do it for them because I don't have the time or patience to do to do it. All right, I, just, I wouldn't be able to do it. I'll get too mad. Now, I'm going to quickly mention that the server is very unstable currently. Get off of me! But since this is the beta, I'm not going to let that weigh my decision. First up, which is Battle Arena. Battle Arena got some new shop items, which I couldn't find. And then uh, the other major change, they added a new kit to FFA. New kit beside him. This seems kind of cool until you realize that the kit is absolute dog shit. I don't think I see a singular other person using this kit. This kit is ass. Like, who thought it would be a good idea to have a kit where, where it doesn't have leggings, it has an iron chest plate, and it doesn't have a sword? But instead, you get a, a trident with loyalty one, All right? Now, this kit becomes okay if you just use the trident as a sword. Get fucked, pussy. Get fucked, pussy. But throwing it is just, like, unviable in literally any situation. Hey, hey, hey. Hey. Also, the boots have depth strider. So, like, I guess this kid is for if you want to fight people, like, in the water. Now, here's the kicker, though, in my opinion, which I find pretty funny. They added a new map, which, by the way, is never themed. And it has zero water, all right? Why release a kit that needs to be used in water with a map that has no water? It's like the opposite of the ocean, basically. It's literally never themed. It's a cool map, though. All right, I will say it's a pretty cool map. But a really good change, in my opinion, is that they also made uh, spawning into specific locations free now, so you don't need the you know you don't need the rank for that. Also, a side note, but when playing with the Trident kit, I have seen a bizarre thing happen. A lot of people go exclusively after you. I, I guess because you're using the most like shit build in the game, you would be an easy kill. But also, everyone that did this was like really bad, like really, really bad. On to the next category, which is Lucky Block, which is my favorite non-competitive game mode, guys. All right. Now, first thing, I love the new hub. All right. Some small changes were made, but it makes it 10 times better. Since though we're on the topic of hubs, let's talk about the other games that don't feature in the video, but have a cool new hub. First is Survival Games, which has a cool cave entrance thingy. Pretty cool. Then next up, Minerware. Love the cool little detail. It's like how they have colorful cubes all around the place. And wait, is that? Is that? How the fuck did they get on my toilet, dog? What? Now onto the actual game, which I should be talking about. Uh, Lucky Blocks got a couple new Lucky Blocks. You know, it was surprising. They got the normal gold, then diamond. The diamond lucky block right there that I kind of want. And then this like colorful one, which to be honest, I don't know what it does. And talking about stuff that I don't know about, I don't know what diamond does either. They all just seem to like have the same loot box, just like with higher chances, I guess. I, that, that's my guess, all right? But like during the match I, I played, I barely got anything from diamond. Maybe it's bad luck, you know, that does, that does happen. But the change I like the most is the addition of a lucky block exclusively for blocks, which you get at the very beginning of the game, which is very good for me. Now you will always have blocks to get to middle, which was a major complaint of mine, all right? And the uh, other lucky block that you got at the very beginning is for food. Uh, kind of useless, I guess. Oh wait, you know, except for the fact that food no longer fills your health fast, so we need a shit ton more of it. Same with golden gaps too. Like everything seems weaker. Does food no longer like just give you an extreme amount of health? Is that something that doesn't occur anymore? Did they fix that? Is that was that a glitch the entire time? And I thought that was just like a main part of the game. But honestly, fine by me. Then also this new stuff that I got from the blocks were like somewhat cool. The most memorable one was this charm. That supposedly gave me zero, like, knockback. What is this? Weighted amulet. The nice all knockback dealt. That's... That's somewhat cool. I can't remember if it actually did that, but the sprite is cool. Overall, pretty good changes. All right, now on to the next, which is Sky Wars. All right, now Sky Wars was the one that had the best new lobby. If you guys watched my last video, which if you're subscribed, should show up. What the fuck? 
The new lobby looks so sick, dude. Like, I love how enclosed it feels. Like, I might just make a video exploring it. Like, the lobby. Like, legit, it's packed to the brim with so many cool little details. But I'm here to talk about the, the game mode, though. So let's stop before I, like, start ranting on and on, all right? All right, firstly, gapples are now basically needed. Like... It's like lucky block. Like I guess Gapples and food just got nerfed. Basically, I got. I, I'm pretty sure it was a glitch. All right, a food like food is now a necessity in Sky Wars. So are gaps. Like you need them a lot more. And then the two maps seem pretty cool to play in. But now onto the main thing I have wanted for a while. All right, Neverite in Sky Wars. Does he have Neverite? I need that right now. Give me that. Give me that Neverite right now, boy. Like, dude, I've been waiting for this for so long, and for it to be here now, it just makes me like extremely happy. All right. I know you can't like maybe hear in my voice. I, I I can't tell, but extremely happy, all right, guys. Uh, be ready for a video though of me just like getting full Neverite in Sky Wars. I hope you're ready for that. Be ready. Other than that though, I do like how ex like extremely rare Neverite is to get, and you don't just get Neverite armor. You get like the ingots, and then with the ingots, you then have to like put it into a smithing table that's like usually in the middle of the map, and then you craft whatever you want with that singular Neverite ingot. All right. Oh shit! You can do it. Okay, I need to get Neverite. I need to get Neverite immediately. I know you want this. I know you want this for me. Yes! Oh my god, I can get Neverite. I, I know what I'm putting as a thumbnail. I know what I'm putting as a thumbnail. No, don't bridge up right now. Dude, you're gonna ruin it. Where is he? Oh, get out. Alright, there we go. Now I can quickly do this. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, baby. I'm never righted. That's even a word. Pretty cool though. I would say Skyward got some like pretty good changes. Now onto the game mode with the most controversial changes in my opinion. Egg Wars. Now quick side note. I love the new lobby. Like I love it. And I also found a secret part of the map which uses short sneaking. Uh, I don't know why. Pretty cool. Now onto the actual game mode. First, the shop got reworked heavily. Like diamonds are rare. Emeralds now fall from the sky. I don't. I don't know why. A fucking enchantment table on it. What the fuck was that? Oh, dude, that's kind of cool. Dude, emeralds. Emeralds just spawn around the map. I just got one right now. They literally just spawn. And you can get netherite armor. Is it netherite diamonds or? I don't. Maybe they don't have it here because I don't see it. Oh. Yeah, wait, like here, let me see. An overpowered one. Oh, never right. No, yeah, yeah, it's 64. Oh. All right. Also, they got crossbows, so, you know, cool, I guess. Also, things I ever got expensive. Eight golden apples are 64 gold. Or became way cheaper, like, no in between. Like, iron armor, like, just cost actual iron now. You got iron armor? Oh, why should I do? I can't fucking use my inventory. Wow, that's 10 Dude, iron, really? I can't. And then diamonds cost gold. I I think Egg Wars is like now basically is just trying to push you to like push other people instead of middle. And uh, enchants are now also in middle, which all cost emeralds. All right, so there's an enchantment shop right here, and you can get emeralds from destroying eggs now, which is pretty cool in my opinion. It's not happening though. You're fucked, buddy. You're fucked. Oh, shit. You're so screwed, you bro. You earned three. Oh, you earned emeralds for breaking eggs. Oh. Just jump off, I see. Oh, shit. You didn't have a bridge. All right, buddy. You're fucked. Okay. I'm getting off. No, you're not. We're going to do egg boys now. We're going to do oh, egg boys. Dude, they colored the things, dude. Oh, they did. We, like, do regular duels. Overall, the game mode goes completely differently and armor and tools are like easier to get, which I think helps with pushing people really like incentivizes that. All right. And uh, I would say this is half and half. Personally, I, I think the community will warm up to these changes over time, but uh, a long time. All right. Long time. Now to my final thoughts. All right. On the new new update or beta, I guess. Overall, the changes in the beta are very promising. And I will say a lot of them, even if ridiculous, are so cool. All these changes i feel like smooth out the rough edges of like certain game modes like i definitely feel that sky wars and lucky block are a better playing experience now uh duels might be a bit ridiculous with the with the triumph throwing but it doesn't take away from the game that much so it doesn't really matter in my opinion 
the only one is egg wars but to be honest i'll leave that one to like to you the viewer like comment if you think egg wars is better off or not with these changes overall though some good changes in my opinion so you know i think i think the changes are good overall final decision uh now the time to uh, take my exit if you enjoyed the video make sure to like and subscribe and if you want to continue watching me uh maybe watch the one to the left which is ranking all the game modes before the update though all right the one on the right is uh the one that youtube thinks is right for you so uh enjoy anyway